A Milwaukee man says he rushed his friend to the hospital to save his life and ended up with five police officers piled on top of him. But it's what officers left out of their reports that prompted him to reach out to Fox 6 investigator Brian Polson. Cooperate. Cooperate. When five police officers struggle to get one man to handcuffs, you probably wonder what that man did to provoke them. He did none. Especially if he's innocent. Why would he just cooperate? I it's a question it. Michael Poe has been asking himself for a year. When fingers are getting pointed at you for something that you didn't do, and I see my friend, man. it's kind of hard to say what you emotionally what's going to be going through your mind. <laughs> Poe is part owner of a private Milwaukee cigar club named for 11 black professionals who've been friends for years. On April 14th, 2021, three of them were watching basketball. We've seen a big spark come from the ceiling. Then I said, oh, it's a hole up in the ceiling. When their friend cried out, I've been shot. Blood is just gushing out of his leg. Poe quickly made a tourniquet and Daniel Beard grabbed his keys. We just said, hey, we just got to get him to the hospital. They called 911 on the way to Columbia St. Mary's. Police quickly respond to 504 East Center. It is empty. But no one's there. If you want to just do me a favor and go talk with my partner. Outside the emergency room, Next thing you know, you hear, Pow. the victim's friends tell police what they saw. I thought the civil fan went out. And Poe alerts an officer. And I do carry a service weapon too. He is carrying a gun. I was always told to say that. Yep, nope, yeah. that's good. There's nothing wrong yeah. with that. As one officer heads in to meet with the victim. What room did he go? Others separate the witnesses. And once again, Beard so we just sat there. and Poe explain what happened? There's a hole in the ceiling. Oh, Larry's like, I've been shot. He said, I've been shot. I'm like, what? Blood is just pouring on his leg. At the same time, police force their way into the lounge. Milwaukee police, anybody in here, announce yourself. And find a bullet hole in the ceiling. Oh, yeah, right here. Just as the witnesses described. I'm sure this one's probably not going to be too hard for him to solve. For the next hour, man, that's crazy. Officers engage the men in light conversation. Is it like a members only kind of place? Members private only, yeah. But then, sir, we're going to have to come with you. Their tone changes. Oh, no, I'm not. You're know, crazy. You're know, crazy as hell. A citizen in the hospital lobby starts his own recording as police learn there's a second shooting victim. Oh, at first, 20-year-old Cameron Lee told workers at Mount Sinai Hospital he'd been shot by a passing car. Why don't you, instead of adding a charge of, like, lying, why don't you just tell me what happened? But Lee eventually admitted to detectives he was in the apartment above the lounge showing off a gun to some girls when it accidentally went off. They, like, shot through my pants, everything. Not only did Lee shoot himself, the bullet went through the floor and struck a man in the lounge below. What are the, the uh, chances of that? But instead of sticking around to explain what happened. I'm shot, I'm shot, what the f am I supposed to do? With Lee you? panicked. There's got to be another way out, there's got to be another way out. There's like, they're not, there's not. Jumped from a second story balcony. That was a pretty big jump. And ran. I don't know how I did it, but I just did. When officers asked the tenants upstairs what happened, Hi, this is Milwaukee Hi. Police. Is anyone else shot upstairs? No. They lied. Told them they didn't see or hear anything. That only added to the confusion back at Columbia St. Mary's. I'm not sitting back in the white car. Where the focus turned to Michael Poe. We have reasonable suspicion that a crime has been committed. For me? Yes. You guys so, are telling me I, could, I shot my friend. I don't, on, I don't see it. That's why I say you're not under there arrest. Go. Officers assured Poe he was not under arrest, but also that he had no choice but to come with them for questioning. It's either you stand up and you go to our car or you can do it in cuffs. I'm not standing up and I'm not doing it in cuffs either. Why not? Because I'm not. Well, it's not I'm not. Said. From there, I'm just telling you, I'm not going up like that. The tension quickly escalates. I'm not going up like that. Sir, sir. I'm not going up like that. Sir. Five Milwaukee police officers surround Poe. Sir. Lift him up from his seat. What I do? Fighting, sir. Tackle him to the ground. Place him in handcuffs. That man ain't did none. And lead him out of the lobby. He became a suspect.
A retired detective who agreed to review the case as long as we don't identify him says it was absolutely reasonable for officers to detain Poe. He has a pistol on him without a holster. By the way, get a holster. Put well, it in a holster. And there's another victim that shows up at another hospital. Until they sort that out, he says, you don't know if this guy shot that guy. They had no right to put their hands on him. Civil rights attorney James Gendy disagrees. Was, there was neither probable cause or a reasonable suspicion that this gentleman had done anything wrong. Not long after this, police realized Poe was telling the truth. Hey, Mr. Poe, we're sorry. You've never been in trouble. You know, you didn't know how this was going to go. Matter of fact, you know, have, have, this is your gun back. But it's what happened next that prompted him to call the Fox 6 investigators. Like, OK, what is going on here? When police finally released 45 pages of case files four months later, Poe found his name mentioned only once. But there was nothing about the force officers used to detain him. They knew that they did something wrong. That's why they did not put me in this report. If the police had conducted themselves appropriately in this matter, there would be no reason for them to um, exclude it from their official reports. Because of our investigation, Milwaukee police say they have now opened their own internal investigation. How many other citizens out here are dealing with the same situation that I dealt with and it's not being recorded? Poe says he's still trying to make sense of what happened, both as a black man. In this climate of uh, where America is right now. And part owner of a lounge with members that include retired police officers. That's why it bothered me so much. He says they opened the club to get away from life's problems. Don't have to worry about getting shot at. But even behind locked doors. I'm not good with guns. The problems found them. Thursday will mark one year since this accidental shooting occurred, and since then, 20-year-old Cameron Lee, he's the young man who was in the upstairs apartment and accidentally fired his gun. He was sentenced to 18 months of probation for negligent use of a weapon. Michael Poe has never been arrested for resisting or obstructing police that night. He's also never filed a complaint against the police. A Milwaukee police spokesman tells me it wasn't until our request for body camera videos and a use of force report that Internal Affairs decided to take a closer look. In Milwaukee, Brian Polson, Fox 6 Investigators. And you can see all of the videos we used in this reporting at fox6now.com or simply on your Fox 6 News app.